Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Janice. Um, today's video, I'm just going to show you a few really cute tops that I got from Zara and H&M, as well as a couple bucket hats. So if you're in the market for that, I'll tell you kind of like a trick that I do to search for hats, as well as one vintage item that I picked up. Um, I'm developing a course right now, so I wanted some bright colored um, shirts or sweaters to film in. I just find like for example, right now, it's just like it picks up better on camera. So yeah, I'll show you. Um, sometimes H&M stuff is hard to link, but I'll try my best. And the Zara stuff, I'll be able to find. So my little hack, if you kind of have a big head like me, I think I have a big head. I just feel like I'm big in general. Um, so if you have a bigger head and hats don't typically fit you, go into the men's section, especially at H&M. And also years ago, I haven't been in there in a long time, Le Chateau used to have really good hats. They'd have them in different sizes, but the men's section at H&M, you can get them. They're very cheap. I believe they, these were both under $10, like eight or $9. So I got a green nylon one. It's kind of like that Prada bag material. And um, I should have got a size medium. They only had a size large in this, so it is a little bit too big, but I just got it just in case, like say in the future, if we go on holiday, it's nice to wear this in the sun. I really don't like my face getting any sun. And then this black one I got, it's more canvas material. This is a size medium and I prefer the way that it fits. So um, just for reference, if you think you're kind of around the same size as me, probably a size medium in the men's would be good. One good thing is about getting it bigger, it's loose enough, so if I wanted to put my hair in a bun and just tuck my hair up under it, it would fit. Um, so first up, I got this shirt. It's a button-down shirt. I got it from Zara. I wanted it oversized, so I got a size large, and it's $39.90 Canadian. This is one of those types of shirts I could fit into any of the sizes. I just I purposely wanted it oversized. It's almost a very fine cor corduroy material. And it's just an oversized shirt. I really liked the color. Kind of match my nails, even though I don't like the color of my nails. The other day I got them done and um, I picked out like a clear color and she was about to do it. She's like, oh, the bottle's empty. And this was the closest thing to like a clear pinky color and it's not really my style, but. Um, anyway, la I believe last, no, probably two years ago, I had the same shirt, but it was in a light beige and I loved it. I wore it a lot. I just remember I wore it out to a bar, which I don't normally even go out and drink and something got spilled on it. I couldn't really get it out. I tried washing it and I think I put like spray and wash on it and it kind of ruined it. So unfortunately I had to get rid of it, but I did really like that shirt. So they had these in all different colors. So again, probably... I mean, if you want it just to be your true size, it fits true to size, like a medium probably would be like what I would normally get. Again, I just wanted it really oversized. So it's a great layering piece. It adds a pop of color. So here's the purple shirt. Now that I'm seeing it on camera, it might be a little bit too big. Maybe I should have got the medium because um, it's like a little bit too loose. But I think if you had like a tank top underneath, it will look nice. And I should have said too, it has pockets. So maybe just stick to your true size in this and I think it will still be nice and oversized. So next up, I got this sweater from H&M. It is a size medium, so it fits true to size and it was $29.99 Canadian. Um, it's kind of expensive actually now that I think of it, but it's a bright purple color and it's kind of cinched at the front. I actually thought that obviously this tie would cinch it, but it's almost like a fake cinch. So anyway, it looks really cute. The neckline, um, it looks like it deep, sorry, the neckline looks like it dips down kind of far, but it's actually just perfect. It doesn't show too much or anything. And I think this would look really good with like high-waisted skinny jeans. Yeah, so that's a really nice top. So this jumper is also from H&M, $39.99. A little expensive too. I don't really think I looked at the prices. Oh, it's because it's the H&M Conscious line. So it's made, I think, from recycled materials. It's less of a carbon footprint, or so they pretend. Probably, probably is not. But um, so it's just a really like thick knit sweater. Um, I got medium, and it just fits perfectly. It's not too oversized. Again, looks nice with jeans. And then 
This sweater is also from H&M and I got a size large because I wanted it oversized and it is, let's see, $34.99. It's kind of like a mock neck turtleneck and again, a really thick, heavy knit. This actually feels quite good quality. It's a pink color and it just looks cute if you like tuck it in at the front of your pants. So here is that nice purple jumper. Again, size medium and it fits true to size. I really like this. It's like a nice bright pop for fall. So here's the pink sweater, you guys. And this again is a size large. It's perfect. It's still long enough. I wanted it a little bit long enough. So if you have pants, can tuck it up at the front. Yeah, it's just super cozy, I love it. So again, really nice and chunky. I really like it, it's super cozy. It doesn't feel itchy at all. So that's it for the new stuff. And my one vintage piece that I'm dying over. So I love eBay, I've probably said that before. I have a couple vintage purses. They're just getting minor repairs right now. I got a Chanel and a Prada purse like at insane insanely low prices like I love searching eBay it's like a virtual I don't know thrift store and I'm really good at finding good deals like I won't buy something on eBay unless it's a really good deal and my whole life for years my mom used to get mad at me like probably I don't know has eBay been around probably almost 20 years um in high school I would order like Louis Vuitton because I lived somewhere like I couldn't get that and she would get mad at me she's like how do you know if it's real and Anyway, I've just always loved searching for stuff on there and then I flip it, I resell it. I probably should have made a business doing that years ago. I just never have. I've just personally done it um, kind of just on the side and I just find it fun. It's not really like, yes, it makes money, but it's, it's not really like a business. I don't do it that often. Um, anyway, I was looking for like another oversized blazer then I got thinking, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to look in the men's section because a lot of vintage women's clothing is getting quite expensive. You used to be able to find it for pretty cheap. So I got this vintage men's Christian Dior blazer for $35 US. I think it was priced quite a bit more, like 60 something. And I offered him 35. He accepted it right away, shipped it immediately. So for reference, I have to obviously get this tailored because it's way too big. Like this is the size my boyfriend wears. So you know how brands sometimes have like a higher end line or whatnot. This is Christian Dior Monsieur. So I don't know, like maybe that's kind of their midpoint, but it feels really good quality. I forget what size this is. I think my boyfriend is a size 44 and he tried it on and it fit him except the arms were too short. So it's a double breasted. It's kind of like a charcoal gray. I'm gonna have to show it to you on. I obviously have to get it tailored. The shoulders are too big, but the shoulders are almost extended out. It almost looks like a Balenciaga jacket. I actually don't mind how it fits through the body it is actually perfect. I'll get it taken in a little bit, but it's just the shoulders. So I'll take it to the tailor. We'll see what she can do. Um, I mean, even, I don't know how much it would be, like even if I had to pay like a hundred and something dollars to get it tailored, which it probably won't be that much, um, you know, it was only $35, which is insane. Like probably something like this would be thousands of dollars or at least a thousand if you bought it brand new. So yeah, I'll show you in the mirror. I'll show you the before and then I probably won't get it tailored for a while. It has to be tailored and dry clean. Maybe I'll show that in an upcoming video, like a transformation. And guys, this is my oversized blazer. How sick is this? This is the Dior men's blazer. So let me just do it up. It's double breasted. Um, let's see if I can go back for enough. So it fits just how I wanted it to fit down here. I like that it's long. Um, the only thing that's a little too exaggerated is obviously the shoulders. Like this is where my shoulders are. So I have to get this taken in a little bit. But to be honest, like even how it is right now, like I said, it reminds me of like a Balenciaga jacket. It's perfect condition, it just has to be, you know, dry cleaned and um, just taken in a little bit there and maybe a little at the waist, but for $35, like how sick is that? And it's very like good, heavy material. Like I feel like, I don't know, my boyfriend even tried it on. He's like, yeah, yeah this is a good suit.
Thank you guys so much for watching again. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment and yeah, let me know what else you want to see.